Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another edition of QA Shorts. And that's the part QA Shorts Space English Skills One. I'm appreciating pros English Skills One. And automatically, you will get these questions. And these questions are basically designed for your examination so that you will be able to study better. Over to Dr. Prashant. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Premanand, and uh, welcome back to our uh, next episode of short questions and uh, as we you have watched the earlier video it was uh, discussing uh, the pattern of questions especially short questions and uh, with respect to that i have been asking you to uh, distinguish between uh, prose and poetry right and uh, we have categorized poetry and prose into different activity different points have been raised and based on this particular points, I have prepared 10 questions for you. So we can just very quickly look at it. And you understand that the questions, uh, 10 questions, there are very short questions and also questions which require a bit longer answers. And among the questions that we have to, you have to do, this is the first set of questions where you have a question which requires just a word as answer. This belongs to the category of multiple choice question or fill in the blanks question. Okay, so uh, now we come to the next set of questions where I have taken questions which are a bit longer in nature. Differentiate prose from poetry, define prose poetry, define fiction. All this is the kind of a question which require maybe a sentence or two as an answer. So let us take the first question out of the six. I'll be answering the other questions in the next slide. So the questions that need one sentence answer or maybe a little more than that. See how I answered prose and poetry. And remember that this is not your final kind of an answer. You can modify. You can definitely write alternative answers. This is a model answer only and never the perfect answer, right? This is, but as far as I'm concerned, I've given you all the, I mean, I, I'm playing all the cards out. The major difference between prose and poetry is, so look at the tense structure. I'm using simple present tense, I mean, uh, present tense actually. And you just look at how I answer the question. The question is differentiate for prose from poetry. It's a question in the, uh, by using the present tense and I'm answering in the present tense as well. In the use of language, the major difference between prose and poetry lies in the use of language. That is point number one. While poetry uses metrical composition, prose employs language of everyday speech. So if it is a short question, you just need to elaborate with only one point. That is my, question. That is my uh, entire argument. If you have another point to raise to substantiate difference between poetry and prose, you can definitely do that. But this is the most obvious kind of an answer. If you can think of a better answer, you're welcome. But for majority of you, uh, answering in this particular pattern will be of advantage. Now, I've answered other questions as, as well. See, uh, define what is a prose poem. Poems composed in the style of prose, meaning with everyday conversational language, without adhering to any metrical composition, is called the prose poem. Example, Baudelaire's Be Drunk. Always try to provide examples when definitions are asked because that shows uh, that the student knows the answer well. So that impresses the teacher and no teacher can give you more than two marks for a short question, but definitely uh, that particular person evaluating a paper will have an impression and this will be reflected in your essay question as well as in the paragraph question. So you'll be getting more marks there. Right. So define fiction, again, a definition question, a literary work in prose that uses characters, events, which are fictional. That is how the name also came. Right. Alternative answers are possible. Don't think this is a final answer. Okay. So what is a nonfiction, a prose work that is either a true account of a person pers or personal life or events or information is called nonfiction, a prose work that is either a true document of personal life or events or information. Is called. It can be a travelogue, 
it can be a autobiography or anything anything other than imaginary that is what is non fiction distinguish fiction from non fiction i have not answered that question because that is already two answers are given you just have to elaborate by using two or clubbing the two answers together what is a heroic prose another question heroic prose is usually a legend or a fable depicting the heroic activities like amala vadakan patakamari where you have uh, the the extraordinary performance of tachole uh, there is present or any any kind of a text which which presents a heroic activity very often uh, involving in uh, different kinds of heroic activity and of course there is also maybe magic there is uh, also the intervention of gods everything will be added to that so that is how a heroic prose is all about thank you for watching the video back to prem thank you dr prashant abo idana qa shorts nu udheshikunnathu there will be uh, full answers to your uh, questions and you need to completely watch it qa shorts engena ningal search kiya that's all qa shorts english skills one alengil yeah. appreciating pros english skills one yeah we'll be providing 10 questions each and after the completion of this we'll also be moving to paragraphs and essay Thank Stay you. Tuned. Till the next video, your like or dislike. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay tuned.